Another community-developed tool that we can use to adjust the image contrast is local histogram equalization. This tool adjusts the intensity of each pixel based on the histogram of all the adjacent pixels in a region defined by this parameter here. We can see the effect right away. The greater the radius, the greater the emphasis on the larger scale structures. We need to be careful here because very small radii can cause dark halos around the stars. I therefore recommend always using large radii. We can control the aggressiveness of the process using the contrast limit slider, but this parameter isn't easy to control. If we increase it a little, the image becomes distorted. We can control it a little better by decreasing the amount parameter. Now we can increase the contrast limit to higher values until we get the desired result. You may notice that all the dark channels between the nebulas and the darkest oxygen-3 areas are now much more visible. So this tool is very good at recovering the contrast in images we've stretched with techniques that provide a lower contrast. Now we're going to apply it to the main view of the image we stretched with Masked Stretch. We're also going to apply the process to the image stretched with histogram transformation. Here, we need a lower contrast limit because the image stretched with histograms already has a higher contrast. Finally, we're going to compare the two results again using pixel math. The image with masked stretch preserves more of the color saturation and enhances the hydrogen nebulas a little more. The weaker oxygen structures are also more enhanced. The image stretched with histograms, on the other hand, has a higher contrast in the brighter areas of the nebula, and we don't have any problems with the brightest stars. Both tools offer good results in different characteristics of the objects we're photographing. We could get even better results by using masks. PixInsight gives us a lot of freedom to create branched processing sequences where each technique can be applied in different ways. We can then use masks to put all the different results together in a single final image containing the best parts of each version. Mm. I feel so cute.